Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about how to get into big tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft and so on. So the one thing is getting into big tech companies is not that super difficult and also it's not that super easy. You need to follow some proper schedule, proper planning and proper execution. So I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you so that it may be helpful for you to get into those big companies. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing is practice competitive coding a lot. What did I say? A lot. So that is the first thing that will make you through the first initial rounds, which is the coding round. You have to clear the coding round and until and unless you are able to clear the coding round, you will never get the interview call. So first you need to practice a lot of competitive coding questions, uh, maybe company specific, uh, topic wise. So let me share you some tips regarding how you should practice your competitive coding for those big tech companies. Okay, the first thing that I recommend you to follow is that this page, this, I will give you uh, the link in the description below that the must do coding questions for companies like Amazon, Microsoft and there are many companies. So what it has, it has all the, this uh, topic wise uh, selections of some questions like this arrays has uh, like 23 questions, this uh, string has 13 questions. So this has some limited number of questions that is i'm not saying that is enough but that is enough to kick start your coding preparation because it has uh, covered the breadth of each and every topic so this is a very good topic to start on uh, because i started from uh, this page only many of my friends also started uh, from this page this page has a lot of problems just to kick start your journey and i mean after solving these problems i would recommend uh, to go to this page it has must do coding questions company wise i would not recommend to follow this page from the very beginning just follow this page and once you're comfortable in solving some problems just revisit this page again it has all the company wise listings like google facebook microsoft adobe oracle it has all the company wise problems the one thing i would recommend that be solving a problem don't don't just look its company like just for example this problem Sabaru will be given some this problem may be given by many companies yeah so just don't just get confused with the name facebook here ki yaar facebook to bahut tough question deta hai mere se nahi nahi ho payega don't just assume in this way it can be even a simple questions given by facebook it can be a a very simple question given by Google also. So don't just get uh, worried about the tag <laughs> that question have. Just follow whatever the question is and just try to solve the questions. Okay. So I think uh, once you are comfortable enough, just go through this page. Now, once you are comfortable with these two pages, I would recommend to solve either interview bit or maybe lead code. I would strongly recommend solving lead code problem if you have enough times. So how to solve lead code problems? Uh, lead code has a lot of problems, like more than uh, 10,000 problems lead code has. So how to sort, uh, solve these problems? I would, I would recommend uh, set the difficulty first. I would recommend to solve, uh, go through some easy problems first, then switch to medium difficulty. Right, because most of the questions that company do give is coming from the lead code medium problem. So this is a very crucial section. It has a hell lot of problems. Try to solve it, and you can also uh, select the tags. Like if you want to solve uh, problems from array only, all the questions from array with medium difficulty are listed. If you want to solve, let's say, uh, like string problems. Uh, it has all the problems related to string with medium difficulty. So, in through your entire coding journey, I would recommend try to, uh, you know, give as much time as possible for medium problems. Maybe 80% problems should be 
from the medium don't go for heart problems from the very beginning it would uh, you know decrease your uh, confidence level just try to solve uh, the medium problems 80% uh, of your entire problems that you have solved should come from the medium difficulty and then the 10% may be from easy 10% may be from hard but just focus on this medium difficulty and also if you want to uh, solve the interview bit i would recommend uh, start from the beginning let's say you want to start with arrays so open the array section uh, it has all the problems related to array with some tag of the companies but again i am making this statement clear that don't don't just get confused over this company tag so many many students happens to do this kind of uh, assumptions that ye mere se nahi ho payega kyunki ye google ne diya ye amazon ne diya ye microsoft ne diya ye mere mujhse nahi ho payega theek hai but don't just assume just go through the questions maybe a, an easy question you can different solve it okay so just uh, go through this section once you complete the section you can switch back to another section the first thing is please follow this uh, must do coding must do coding questions properly because this is where you can find most of the questions coming from this section this is very very important okay okay the next thing is that while practicing those coding questions you should also practice in pen and paper mode or maybe if possible in on whiteboard because that will be useful during your interview round if you get an interview call a face to face interview call then the interviewer in front of you may ask you to solve some problems uh, in using a pen and paper or maybe a whiteboard so you need to make sure that the interviewer has understood whatever you are trying to say or maybe whatever you are trying to solve so make sure to practice it along with uh, solving those coding problems because th- what happens is that the student may skip that if they get the interview call then they will practice but that will consume a lot of time what i should suggest is that while practicing those coding questions try to practice using pen and paper and that will be very very useful for the next interview rounds okay the next thing that will make you through the initial screening round is that your cv the cv should be a good looking properly designed and properly framed without making a good looking cv you cannot pass the initial screening round so make sure your cv should be properly framed and properly designed and well documented most importantly so that it can easily pass the initial screening round because it may be uh, like it happens a lot uh, to lot of students that so they usually say that my cv has been rejected in the initial screening round but i have that qualification i have that uh, skills to so know the cv is, is a must win factor because you have to win the initial screening round in order to get the next call for your maybe the coding or the interview so making a good look cv is very very important so let me share you some tips to make the cv a oh, very good look okay the first thing is that you should contact your seniors if possible because they are your ultimate friend for guiding you in preparing the the good looking cvs because you know they are already working in some big companies and they know how they have passed the initial screening rounds just by just making a very attractive cv so just ask them just ask them for their help Uh, that what points you should include what projects you should include and what that company specifically uh, prefers maybe some company specifically uh, prefers your projects maybe uh, some some other prefers what are the courses that you have taken what maybe uh, the the cpi the the skill set that you have so just ask that seniors if possible if uh, any seniors exist in that company just ask their help they would definitely help you and just ask how to make that cv attractive and always productive okay inside cv try to point out clearly what are the key projects so what key project is that maybe you have already executed maybe 10 number of or more number of projects all of them are not key projects the key projects are uh, maybe 4 to 5 or maybe a 3 
projects are your key projects so try to include that projects only because your cv should be a good looking one it, it should not make a clumsy and complex looking so you should not unnecessarily put all of the projects that you, you did during maybe your academics during your internships or whatever so try to make sure the projects that are the key projects to you and also the other thing is that the work experience whatever work did you do in your the previous uh, company if any i mean it is not applicable for the freshers but if you have any prior pro work experience try to mention it clearly the work experience may be a toxic for you because that's why you are changing but still whatever you learned from that particular company what skill sets you gain from that company clearly mention it in onto your cv okay the last and final thing is that the mock interview or the previous interview experience so if possible try to arrange some mock interviews because that will be very very helpful and the other thing is that the previous interview experience if you search in the internet you'll get a lot of previous interview experience let's say you want to apply for amazon so there are tons of amazon questions that uh, people have posted maybe in gigs for gigs maybe in other some articles you can just go and follow and try to solve that uh, on your own that if you are comfortable with that if not then go and again prepare for them okay so coming to interview experience let's say you want to sit for microsoft or maybe google or maybe amazon or whatever so just search in Google whatever the specific company you want to sit for and just search their interview experience. So I'm searching currently Microsoft interview experience, right? So I would recommend to follow Geeks for Geeks for that because it has a lot of archive interview experience for each and every company. So if you open this uh, page, you will get to know about various type of interview experience. Like this is the interview experience for internship. This is the interview experience for associate consultant and maybe this is the experience for three plus years of experience role. Uh, this is the software engineering internship. This is the on-campus SD internship. I would recommend to follow this one. I would uh, list out this page in my description below. And also, if I open a specific interview experience, they have updated it point by point. Like round one, it's a coding round. Round two, it's a technical interview. Round 3 that is another technical interview and round 4 is technical plus HR. So like if you follow any of the uh, interview experience page in Geeks for Geeks, you will find most of the uh, rounds are properly written, properly documented and properly designed. So you will get to know about how you should prepare each and every round. Okay. So, so in this recommended section you will find a lot of interview experience. Let's say you want another on-campus interview, Let's say if you want off-campus interview. And one thing I would suggest you to do is to just don't blindly follow these questions. If you have any questions that you cannot solve, please go to the solution of that question. Do on your own, do code on your own and then you must be feeling confident. Otherwise, you will be demotivated. There are a lot of chances. If there is no question you are not able to solve, I would recommend that you demotivate not be demotivated. You can see the question in solution. After the solution, you can quote that question. You can see the motivation in a different way. Okay? So, this is the interview experience. Okay, that's coming to an end of this video. And I wish you good luck to all of the students who are going to apply for those big tech companies recently. So try to utilize whatever time you have and try to utilize whatever skills you have and you will definitely get a lot of success. I wish you all the best. So if you like this video, please do like and let me know in the comment section about your thoughts and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And also if you like this channel, please do consider subscribing to my channel because I will be posting a lot of videos regarding placement, tech, career and overall computer science topic so see you in the next video bye bye